Just in the city of Chicago, pet experts say there are more than one million dogs living with their owners. And like clockwork around this time every year, a familiar mess seems to show up on city sidewalks. NBC 5's Rob Elgis has more on the mess and a new way to stop it. Rob? So dog lover or not, you've encountered this problem before, dodging a rather unpleasant problem piling up on sidewalks. But what if your dog's DNA could change this? Now, as you watch this, we want you to know we've made sure this story won't gross you out. They frolic in the snow as we accept a perplexing rite of passage to spring. The crust of winter is wearing off, and landmines from man's best friend are dominating the landscape. It's colder. A lot of people don't want to be outside. You know, sometimes I'll put snow over the poop if it's too cold. A bold admission, and dog owners fess up. Have you covered your pooch's consequences? I guess some people think they can, you know, get away with not cleaning it up, but... When that snow melts, there's going to be poop everywhere. But maybe there's a solution. What if for every mutt mess left behind, there was a way to find the tail wagging menace who did it? We rarely have reoffenders. Mike Stone runs the aptly named company <coughs> Who Prints. We have over 900 managed communities now in just over two years. And five already in the Chicago area. It's a simple system. The company teams up with condo communities, swabs the inside of your dog's cheek, and registers them in a DNA database. Then after a doggy mess discovery, there's a collection of the sample, and science solves the rest. Well, actually, the maintenance guys usually would do that, because the maintenance guys usually have to pick up the dog waste, so they're, they're glad to find out who the perpetrators are. Several luxury condo buildings downtown and a 600-unit condo complex in Glendale Heights already use poop prints. Jordan Keller's Luxury Condo Association has her dog, Finley, registered in the program. I kind of questioned it, but then I was like, well, people need to clean off after themselves, and if it's the only way to do it, then you got to do it. Chicagoan Linda Rosenthal approves and has big ideas for the doggy doo-doo detectives. Can you tie that in with Maggie Daly Park, uh, being able to use Maggie Daly Park? You've got probably 7,500 dogs in this area. That idea may not be so far-fetched. Cities in several states are researching it. Carmel, Indiana is considering in their new dog parks. They see how this would work where it won't cost them. It will cost the residents. It's just a win-win situation for, for any municipality. So get this. Poop Prince boasts a 90% success rate, saying there are rarely repeat offenders. Owners are usually embarrassed. And they're also fined. Those fines are determined by the condo associations, range from 250 bucks to eviction. Rob? Learn something new tonight. Thanks for censoring, by the way, Rob. Appreciate